What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Show, where I, Graham, Jesus, and Matthews break down all the original content they watch on the WWE Network and on Peacock. And today we're talking the July 29th, 2024 edition of Raw Talk. Sam Roberts, Megan Moran in the studio per usual. They opened up the episode replaying the opening segment from Raw with Seth Rollins, CM Punk, Drew McIntyre. Pretty good segment as they go back and forth before their match at SummerSlam. That being Punk and McIntyre, Rollins will be the special guest referee. In the studio, they preview Punk and McIntyre on Saturday before replaying Sonya Deville, Zoe Stark, Shayna Baszler, beating Lyra Valkyria, Katana Chance, and Kaden Carter in six-woman tag team action on Raw. We hear from Baszler, Deville, Stark, afterward backstage with Jackie Redmond. And uh, Baszler says, ask what Damage Control did. What happened to them when uh, they were last in the ring with them before they returned to Raw? And they really weren't gone for that long. They treated uh, the commentary team did treated the return like they were gone for a while for months they were only gone for maybe three four weeks max probably like two or three weeks but they were back apparently as baby faces i don't know but deville you know doesn't really take the match with dakota kai next week on raw is really much of a threat sam roberts says this is a group talking about baszler and stark and deville uh this is a group that can't be stopped and that damage control will have had to have learned new tricks in order to take it to Baszler, DeVille, and Stark if they really want to be a threat. They replaced Sami Zayn versus Dominic Mysterio that involved interference from the rest of the Judgment Day. Uh, Braun Breaker attempting to attack Sami Zayn afterward before Sami uh, before Sammy thwarted the attack. We hear quickly from uh, Jackie and Braun Breaker backstage afterward, and Braun Breaker says, Turn off the lights. I'm done with the interviews. All I'm going to say is I vow to kick Sami Zayn's ass and take that Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam. He promised to do that, and that was really about it. Uh, in the studio, they preview Sammy and Braun Breaker for the championship on Saturday. Sam Roberts commends Breaker for being focused and not really worrying about all the talking, which we've gotten a lot of from both men in recent weeks. They replay the Creeds, beating Otis and uh, Kira Tozawa in tag team action before being attacked by the Wyatt Six, setting up the six-man tag team match for next week's show with uh, Gable and the Creeds versus Joe Gacy, Eric Rowan, and... Uh, Dexter Loomis, I forgot the third member for a second, but they were all unmasked on Raw, which was cool. Sam says he's asked a lot on his show and on the street, yeah, sure, um, about the Wyatt Six. What's going to happen when they step in the ring? It's cool, but what, what's going to happen when they step in the ring? He says we'll find out next week on Raw when they have that aforementioned six-man tag team match. They replay Sheamus, uh, losing to Bronson Reed in a good match. Uh, Bronson Reed says that his win was not bittersweet, despite what... Uh, Jackie said here, or I don't think Kathy Kelly was on the show. I think it was all Jackie Redmond. Reed says that my win was not bittersweet. And uh, he says that Sheamus is not the first person on his hit list. Not the last person either, obviously. He questions who's next. And he says, you don't mess with the B.I.G. Obviously, Big Bronson Reed. I thought he said the B.F.G. for a second, which would be a uh, interesting nickname. I mean, B.I.G. isn't much better, but it doesn't really matter. Sam Roberts says that Pete Dunne knocks some sense back into Sheamus with that shillelagh shot during the Bronson Reed match on Raw, costing Sheamus the win, obviously, setting the stage for a future matchup between those two. They replay Jey Uso beating Carlito. They replay the main event with Gunther beating Finn Balor before brawling with uh, Gunther, to, or, uh, Gunther brawling with Damian Priest to close the show. Sam Roberts says that Gunther made a mistake by waking up the quote-unquote street trash inside Damian Priest before their match on Saturday. They run down the SummerSlam card as they did on SmackDown Lowdown. Megan and uh, Scott Stanford on SmackDown Lowdown this past week. And that was really about it. So kind of a ho-hum edition of Raw Talk before SummerSlam this weekend. Uh, fine go-home edition. But it was a lot like Raw on Monday night where it really wasn't the most exciting show. Raw Talk is never really exciting, obviously. But we've seen better shows than this. It was fine for what it was. Drove home that we have a pay-per-view this weekend. But two-thirds of the interviews that we got on the show with... Zoe, Shayna, Deville, or uh, Sonya, Shayna, and Zoe, in addition to um, Bronson Reed, none of that has anything to do with the pay-per-view this weekend. Only the Braun Breaker interview did, and that was very brief. And we've heard a lot better Bronson, or rather Braun Breaker interviews here on the show. Bronson Reed, too, but Braun Breaker, we've heard some uh, great promos from him here on the show. This was not one of them. This was short, sweet, exactly what it needed to be, but my point is, not the most... Um, important edition of Raw Talk this week for July 29th, 2024. Thank you guys for checking out my review. I appreciate it. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Have an awesome one, folks. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.